Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 13th day of June. Hey, another hot uh, summer day across the state. Watching a thunderstorm complex, though, northwest of here. Uh, somehow doubt that it affects much of Alabama, but we'll see. We'll take a look. We'll check some of the sky cam shots around the network this afternoon. First off from Trussville, typical summer sky, hazy. A few uh, flat, fair weather cumulus clouds. The development uh, vertically not very impressive so far today. There's the uh, Demopolis sky cam looking at the Tom Bigby River from the Demopolis Civic Center. And another river shot there coming from the Tennessee River at Decatur up in Morgan County. All right, got the uh, ridge centered over Texas today, the heat bubble. And we are on the eastern periphery of that. And we've got this uh, thunderstorm complex coming out of the Mid-South that uh, bears watching. Temperatures this afternoon are mostly in the low and mid-90s at uh, 2 o'clock. 93 for Birmingham. Tuscaloosa 95. We note those 97s down to the south at Alexander City and Montgomery. And one spot under 90, and that's Haleyville, where they've got 89. And around the nation, a pretty interesting contrast. The nation is really bisected. Uh, north of here, we've got some pretty cool air with only uh, 60s and 70s across the Great Lakes and parts of the Midwest. Very refreshing there. But here across the Deep South, we are baking. A couple of hot spots, one down there in South Georgia with upper 90s. And the big one is out in West Texas, where it's the classic feedback. They've just had a horrible drought. They're not getting uh, any rain, and it just gets hotter and hotter and hotter out there. Uh, they all, they've all got triple digits this afternoon. All right, look at that radar lighting up like a Christmas tree. Goodness, that's the uh, Memphis radar at 232. And, yeah, we've got two tornado warnings in effect. That is extremely rare for a June day. Uh, those counties are in northern Mississippi. And uh, that big complex is barreling to the south, southeast. And more than likely, the trajectory will miss Alabama. We'll check the watch warning map, and really that's the main action is that severe thunderstorm watch. Uh, there's a look at that. That's in effect until 4 for the Mid-South. That includes Memphis. And this new watch was just issued right as I was starting to do the, do the update. That's a uh, new severe thunderstorm watch. And notice the Weather Service is not including any Alabama counties. Uh, in that they're expecting that thing to follow the periphery of the upper ridge and that should take it south and then ultimately southwest down through mississippi missing our state uh, that's in effect until nine o'clock and that includes meridian and jackson and columbus and uh, the delta so uh, that's the deal and that's the reason we think we will not see any issues from that but as always you have to keep an eye on things uh, the uh, convective outlook for today got the slight risk running all the way from the uh, Central Plains right down into Mississippi and Louisiana, kind of the trajectory of the uh, MCS activity there. Day two, a slight risk uh, just north of us. It does include northeast Alabama. And on day three, pretty much the same region, uh, parts of the mid-south, extreme north Alabama in there is, you know, just north of us, pretty good f front uh, with that cool air north of that, but it'll never make it down here. We'll check the uh, QPF chart. Uh, rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. And uh, again, clearly the organized rain will be north of here, but uh, we'll deal with storms in spots every day. Let's take a look. And, uh, you know, this is that really difficult time of the year where it's easy to say hot, hazy, humid, scattered storms. It highs in the 90s. You'll be right every day. But trying to forecast the placement and the coverage of these afternoon storms it is a real challenge and quite frankly the science has just not progressed much in that area since i've been doing this since the 70s uh, we're kind of watching that 588 contour and again we're kind of on the eastern flank of that we have a north flow aloft and down below that we'll have to watch for any convective mass north of here and that could drift down in here with that flow and also storms could pop up in the afternoon and evening hours we all know that other than that you know the deal. Hot, hazy with mid-90s. Wednesday, got a short wave passing just north of us. The flow goes westerly aloft. And again, down below that, some evidence there could be a few scattered storms about Thursday. And of course, once you get out, you know, a few days, it's kind of hard to really pick all this stuff out. It's hard enough a day in advance. But again, uh, a flat ridge, weak westerly flow aloft. There might be a scattered storm somewhere on Thursday. Uh, mid-90s are likely. 
And Friday, same thing. Now, I'll say this. The GFS Moss, the model app put statistics, it's gone bonkers, and it's dropped the high down to 88. I have no idea why. Uh, that's just bogus. And down below that, again, you know, moisture. There should be some scattered storms about. Saturday starting off the weekend, watching that 588 contour beginning to go north a little bit. Uh, temperatures aloft are warming, and there's Sunday. It inches slowly northwards. So, you know, again, uh, there's just not a lot of day-to-day -day change. Every day, the little strength in that ridge and winds aloft and developments to the northwest could affect the weather, but uh, trying to figure that out days in advance, it's almost impossible. So clearly, every day, we are going to say hot, hazy, and humid with some risk of a storm in scattered spots. And there's Monday of next week, week from today. Uh, and there's the surface chart. Pretty much same routine. June 23rd, pretty good-looking shortwave uh, uh, beating down the ridge a little bit. And again, just maybe we'll catch a storm with that. Any weakness in the ridge we'll take. And out there at the end of the forecast on the 28th of June, Ooh boy, that looks kind of nasty. That's uh, Heights are coming up all across the country. Uh, if you want to escape the heat with that look, you really have to go up into Canada almost. And uh, Again, the GFS has got a, a little tropical system down there in the southwest gulf, but uh, we all know more than likely that is bogus as well. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Being Alabama's news leader means digging deeper to get you the facts, working harder so you have all sides of the story and not being afraid to tell the truth. Every day you award us by making ABC 3340 Alabama's most watched news. And now the Associated Press has named us Alabama's most outstanding news operation. That's nine times since 1996, more than all other stations combined. And that's nine more reasons you should trust the news leader. ABC 3340.